Now this next part of Kevin's storyline is a little bit confusing and more for the people that want to know the exact details of what happened during Kevin in season six. So to start with, Kevin decided to start moving around the map randomly and actually powering up a bunch of the runes he left behind in chapter one, season five. He was actually going around the map and powering up a variety of his different runes and the Fortnite community at this point was so confused. You can see here, this was the first rune he powered up just outside of Pleasant Park on the chapter one map. And then he decided to rotate all the way around and he even powered up one of the runes inside of Fatal Fields and eventually after Kevin had rotated around the entire map at uh, all the runes that he printed in season 5 he summoned them all to him just outside of the Salty Springs Mountain outside of Dusty Diver and then they were all connected to him and he was draining the energy from these on the last one for some random reason. Now I still don't know to this day why exactly he was doing this I think he did this to summon the zombies which we'll see in a second in the next Fortnite Mose trailer but as this was taking place you can see all the energy is getting drained into Kevin and eventually they drop down to the ground after performing this crazy Kevin ritual which we assume is probably what he did and then eventually he was ready to go and then we had four nightmares So Fortnite Nightmares 2018 was upon us and Kevin decided to crack. This is when things went pretty crazy and this is where Kevin's ritual came into action. Summoning these fiends was his plan after all. Or was it? It's a question I still ask to this day. Somehow we had to defeat Kevin. Was it IO? Did IO power these kind of portals in the sky to drain Kevin's energy in the long term? Or did IO step in during the butterfly event when they went into the in-between? Anyway, that's for another video. Let's not discuss that here. Let's carry on talking about what happened to Kevin next. So the next thing was Kevin started to actually crack and break off. Now this took the rest of season six until the end, but eventually Kevin was drained so much summoning all these fiends, he completely ran out of energy. And this was the final stage of Kevin's cracked shell. And you can see eventually his shell just completely shatters. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to tap that subscribe button. I've spent weeks digging out all of these old clips. Roughly 98% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed, and it would mean the world to me if we could hit half a million by Christmas. Now, once Kevin was completely cracked, he was actually dropping tears into what was the zero point to come down below in the vault. So I don't know if this was IO tampering with him. Did IO do something in the situation to make Kevin completely crack and get destroyed? You can still see the connection to the sky is still taking place in this bit. So I wonder if that was IO controlling him.
After the Season 6 Butterfly event, the remains of Kevin the Cube were left at the bottom of Loot Lake. You could see them down there just below me as I deploy my balloons here. I don't know if this was Io's plan after all, when Kevin went into the in-between after he exploded. Maybe his plan failed and Io intervened in the in-between and kind of rearranged Kevin. Anyway, the next appearance we saw of Kevin was towards the end of Season 6 with a little Kev babbling. You can see here, here's a little preview of that inside of my Fortnite 50 fashion show. Which if you're watching this video and you like fashion shows and you haven't yet played this, go and try it out. The purple and black theme is in here so you can rock your Kevin skins and it's up to 50 players inside a creative. The code is on screen. Go and give it a go. It's a really fun fashion show. I'm sure you'll love it. Anyway, let's move on to the season X. Kevin then made a return through one of the rift zones inside of Season X where we first saw the introduction in the trailer for the Zap Trap which was pretty cool and overall Kevin actually had some unique features in here which were slightly different from his original form and that was actually it was the flying Kevin but something had changed on the top of the island. It was no longer Loot Lake exactly. It was a cross between Motel, Derberger, Loot Lake, and everything kind of mixed together. And it was just a complete mess, really. In the final moments of this chapter, Chapter 1 Season X, Kevin's last moments were located just outside of Salty Springs. You can see here, during the end event, you actually can spot Kevin just outside of Salty there on the right side, until this happened. And that was it. Goodbye Kevin, goodbye chapter one. This moment in Fortnite history was huge for so many players and it wasn't until Imagined Order would figure out how to reboot the loop so we could get another chance at seeing Kevin the Cube. Now eventually the loop had rebooted and chapter two had begun. The first hint of possibly Kevin returning to the world of Fortnite was added in Chapter 2 Season 1 with Kevolution Energy. Yet the only downside to Kevolution Energy is it never had any of Kevin's symbols anywhere. Which made me personally to believe that this was just a rip-off version of Kevin just randomly created in another reality. That's what I thought at first and I still believe that to this day. I don't think they actually have any of Kevin's power or Kevin's energy inside of Kevolution. It's just simply purple water. Then it wasn't until Chapter 2 Season 5 halfway through where we first saw our first glimpse at Kevin's energy. This was first seen in the Chapter 2 Season 5 Battle Pass where Raz actually managed to tap into Kevin's hieroglyphics. This was super awesome and the first hint to Kevin returning and maybe even Raz summoned the aliens. Then, the rest of them showed up. Never before have we seen anything quite like this.
They didn't arm you, and troops are everywhere. They might be onto us. I found the abduction chamber housing the bombs. Once this patrol passes, I'll get you out of here. Okay, go. We don't have much time. I'm gonna find you a path around the patrols. Watch out for each other. If you get seen, we're done. When you get to the security door, stand by. Okay, they're gone. Give me a moment. ready on my end. You keep those backpacks near the bombs. Okay, I'm gonna start the arming sequence. Just stay alive. 
We are hopelessly outgunned. I won't bring you home. Not if there is a chance that thing can make it back to the island. Over and out.
And that's currently where we're at this season. We have seven cubes all over the map scattered in different locations from sweaty to weeping to pleasant, even over by misty and dirty ducks. These cubes have already started to slowly move around the map. Here you can see a little bit of footage of the cube beginning to slowly rotate. And one of the community's favorites is the brand new blue cube, Blevin, just located outside of Camp Cod. And finally, we move on to the queen cube, the yellow cube, which is a brand new one added into this season. And this one is expected to slowly begin to move around the map at a slower pace, but even possibly hover. Now we will look into this more and document Kevin's process as things do expand, but that's gonna be it for today's video. If you have really enjoyed the story of Kevin, don't forget to support me in the item shop with code POST and subscribe if you are new around here.